like, uh, who are we remembering here, by the way? Who is the other this dedicated to? Not quite. So that's actually, I think a lot of people that say Henry, right? But that's actually an acronym uh, for a Latin phrase that you usually find on Christian images of the cross, right? Um, this open is actually dedicated to the man you see in the photograph here. He's a, he was a professor at the University of Yucatan a long time ago. And this wow. open that you see here before us is actually created by four current students of the university. So they came here, right, and displayed this open this year to show us a little bit about their very uh, specific traditions and their culture. Um, so when you take a look at the structure itself, uh, this outside structure in which the ofrenda is located is not part of the ofrenda. This is actually a replica of the home to the Yucatan. So if you take a look at those photographs over there, right, you see that structure in that uh, the third, from the, the third picture from the right. Mm -hmm. That structure is kind of like this one, right? It's uh, representing the home to the Yucatan. So in this, uh, this is the entrance to the home. You also have that powder, the white powdery substance by it. And does anybody know what that might be? Not quite flower. Looks like it, right? It's actually cal or limestone. Yeah, the limestone cal. is placed along with incense, that which would be located in those little, uh, those little uh, pots that you see there. Um, the incense and uh, the limestone, the cal, is used to purify the spirits as they enter your home. Um, so you want the spirits to come into your home and be really at ease, right? At ease. Um, some people in the Yucatan believe that when you see streaks in the cal, that's the, that signifies that the spirits have entered your home. Uh, so it's a kind of a physical representation of the spirit. Hmm. Um, now, I want you guys to uh, notice one more thing at least, and this, uh, that's the candles, right? The candles are very traditional throughout the prendas, but here they play uh, kind of a second role, where the color of the candles actually tell you who the ofrenda is dedicated to. So we already talked about how it's dedicated to this man up here, right? Who, is, who, be, who would be considered an adult. Um, so you see the candles out here, they're very bland, right? They're very dull colors, they're black and white. Take a look behind us at this painting, and somebody describe to me the color of the candles you see there. They're bright colors, right? Exactly. You have bright blues, bright greens, bright red, right? So if these, are, if these candles show you that it's dedicated to an adult, what would those signify? Yes. Child. Okay, right, exactly. So child. And they'll print that dedicated to a child. So then take a close look at the second level here, and notice that all the way on your left over there, you see two candles, right? What color candle? What color are those candles? Orange. orange and yellow. Orange and yellow, right? So who is this middle level dedicated to? A child, right? So they, what the students actually decided to do was represent both, both type of these ofrendas. Oh, wow. um, so up here you have this ofrenda dedicated to this professor. Down here they dedicated it to a child. And all the food that you see in the second level is actually all candy from the Yucatan. And it's all candy that comes directly from fruits. So it's not manufactured candy, it's all natural. Oh, wow. So again, showing you a little bit about you know oh, the, yeah. the the nature aspects that are found in the Yucatan, and uh, yeah, they just trying to they mm. try to put things that everybody has access to, right? So things that everybody can get and put it in front of I do want to mention one last thing, and that's the cross, right? Um, somebody already uh, saw it before. They saw the inscription on it. What do we typically think of when we see a cross? Right. Yeah. Catholicism, right? Maybe Christianity. Uh, who could tell me where these religions come from? What part of the world? Europe. They're, they're European, right? They're very European ideas. Uh, so it's very curious that we have a cross being the main focus of this ofrenda, which comes, it's a native ritual of the Mayans, right? Uh, so it's starting to get to thinking, right? Well, why is it right there? Why is it such a focus? Uh, but what happened in Mexico in the 1500s? The, the conquest of Mexico by Spain, right? Along with all the people and all their other ideas, they brought Christianity over, right? Religion. Um, so over the last 500 years or so, indigenous people of Mexico have been trying their hardest, right, to kind of hold on to some indigenous roots uh, and some ind indigenous culture, uh, culture values. Um, so what they do here is that they're accepting, they're doing two things, right? They're accepting the fact that these uh, European ideologies played a role in what Mexico is today. So they have the cross in the middle. But if you look at the material, it's very green, right? That represents that the material they usually, they usually use for the crosses in the Yucatan is that sacred saber tree. So in a way, they're kind of fusing together, right, their cultural, their indigenous cultural beliefs with this very Eurocentric idea of Christianity. Uh, which, does anybody know what we call that mixture, by the way? Somebody that's both indigenous, Mexican, and European? Mestizo, right, exactly. So mestizaje. So this idea of mestizaje is very much present right there. 
Does anybody have any last questions about this? Oh. All right, we're at the uh, we're at the uh, the calendar right here. Check this out. Oh, you like this, huh? It's uh, fascinating. I know it is. Yeah. It is. Uh, I'm trying to figure it out, and I can't figure it out. Yeah, I could try. Uh, it's, a, it's a way that a child moves. Like, then I can barely understand. Wow, yeah, that is, that is quite amazing. Yeah, it, <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out where the start is, but I can see the footprints going in this direction. But the, you notice the names and the numbers change? Yeah. Going all the way around here. You have the sun here, which is, I guess, the center. Yeah. <clears throat> and then it, it, none of these are duplicated. Have you noticed? Oh. Wow, man, well, that is... None, I've looked at that. None of those are duplicated. They're all, they're, every one of them is different. And you can notice the, the end and the, the start and the end. Oh. Wow. You know what it, it almost looks like? Uh, a board game. I know it does. And none of these are the same. If you look at these here, this is, but this is this is below the earth. You notice this? Yeah. Okay. You see the skulls here. So this is these are the people that passed on. I guess this is above the earth. And then there's the approach the sun. Oh wow! Well, look at these guys right there. Yeah. I mean, it, it's just fascinating. That is cool. You know, I gotta tell you, I, I wow. I'm sure somebody knows what that all.